I'm Florence and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a cactus kind of succulenty esque haul. I went to the cactus shop in Winkley, Devon probably about a month ago, maybe a bit more. Um, I'll put the date on the screen and some footage of what the place looks like because it's absolutely amazing. Um, if you ever get the chance to come down to the south of England then definitely, definitely go because it's amazing. Uh, he's got so much variety and his prices are just incredible. So I got a mixture of cacti, succulents, uh, bromeliads, yeah, just loads of stuff really, and I'm going to show some of it to you today. I will include prices and where I've had them to kind of acclimate them into my home, and yeah, let's crack on with it. Okay, so this is the first plant. It's actually a serapegia, and I'm not sure if it's going to be able to focus on the screen, but it is this absolutely amazing, really, really dark green kind of foliage. Um, there is some scarring on it. Now, I don't know whether that was past scale problem or whether that is just an age thing. Um, but it's super succulenty. This bit actually broke off <laughs> when I was transporting it home because it is really kind of rigid plant. Um, there's not much room for movement in this. But having said that, there is new growth on it, which is really, really exciting. And yeah, I'll include some close-up shots of this. I think I paid a total of six pounds for this plant. I have no idea how to care for it, if I'm honest. I've watered it once since I've got it. And it is just absolutely wicked. It's just so different. I don't know if you can see. Again, I'll try and include some close-up footage of this. But it was just kind of like a gothic plant that I knew that I needed. And it's just really, really obscure and I love it. So it's actually in a really heavy soil mix and I'm guessing that it's in that because it's quite a succulenty. It's just so cool. <laughs> I love it. Okay, this is the next plant. I might have to move it back slightly to get it all in frame, but this is another Serapegia. Um, I think it's Serapegia Hans. Hi Hans. No idea whether I'm saying that right. Again, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this actually just reminded me of Shrek. I knew that I needed it. I don't know whether you can see that, it's just absolutely wicked and when the hell do you ever find a plant that looks like this, that is a serapegia? I paid £12 for this which I thought was an absolute bargain, I've never seen them for sale anywhere else. Uh, it did have some oxalis growing in the pot and that's obviously died off because I have not watered this yet. It's puckering slightly so now I'm thinking that I will have to water it but Oh my god, I just love it so much. It's just so weird. And that is sat on the shelf. Looks amazing. Like, it's so structural and different. And it just reminds me of Shrek. So what else could you want? <laughs> Again, this is in quite a gritty compost. Um, it's got a drainage hole at the bottom. The other thing that I thought was, uh, if I paid £12 for this and it didn't survive, the pot is really nice, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But I just think that this is so different and I'm so excited to have this in our home properly when we're moved in and all the works are done so that we can actually appreciate all of the plants again because at the moment they are just spread about everywhere. At the moment I'm filming this in my parents' outhouse so you can see a lot of my tropical plants behind me and I can get the humidity quite high in here. But if you want to watch a video on that then I will include a link somewhere on the screen and also in the description below. Um, just of how we moved and a quick tour of, yeah, the new place that these plants are being housed in whilst we're doing up our new house. And if you want a complete houseplant tour, a uh, winter houseplant tour, let me know in the comments below. But I will leave you with this because I just think it is absolutely amazing. How cool is that? Oh, it just keeps going. <laughs> right, this is the next one that I got. And I don't know if you can see, is it going to focus on that? So uh, these, I think they're called like snakehead or python or like zebra, some sort of animal. I think they're zebra because now I'm reading the label. <laughs> the name is an opuntia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, zebrina. But basically this is a really cool cactus with kind of like scarring all over it. My mum bought one as well, absolutely wicked. The only thing that I will say about this is that when I was moving this around, it does have tiny, tiny little hairs all over it. There's a mealy bug on it, bastard. Let's pick you off. Normally I do spray these plants down, but I personally don't 
normally have a problem with bug um because our humidity is quite high but this obviously needs some treatment again it's in a super super gritty soil mix and a lot of drainage holes at the bottom i think the mealybug might actually be in the soil so i need to kind of crack on and treat that but this was 10 pounds and i think for that kind of price you can't go wrong if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out it is puckering slightly so i do need to water it now but again like i said i haven't watered this at all okay so i have a confession um i did also buy a variegated coleus which was kind of a more succulenty variety than any other sort that i'd seen and my mum said oh good luck with that i bought one of these and didn't survive and i was like i'm gonna show her and honestly i don't know how people keep them alive i'll put the name on the screen of the one that i bought and also a picture of it because it was really really beautiful and i would like to try again and research that but the other one that i'm struggling with that i bought is a tad tetradina tetradenia maybe <laughs> It's this one, and I absolutely love it, because I don't know if you can see that, hang on, there we go. Its leaves are kind of velvety, and it's got this cool kind of velvety stem, which isn't focusing at all. Um, <laughs> that's not going to work, but I'll include some footage. But this, I think, needs a lot more water than I'm giving it. Um, it's absolutely wicked, and I'm pretty sure it's some sort of sage. It's, it's really odd actually because the leaves are kind of sticky but they're velvety and you just want to touch them but if you touch them they get sticky so yeah I don't know I need to find out some care on this but if anybody has any care instructions for this that they have successfully used then please let me know down in the comments because I'm in love with this plant and I don't want it to die <laughs> and also I think I paid about £2.50 for this so again really reasonable Okay, so a couple of weeks before visiting the cactus shop, I messaged the owner, Ralph, to see whether he had any of uh, a particular plant. It was a crustata form, and I showed him a picture and was like, you know, do you have any of these for sale? And he was like, oh, I have some in my personal collection, but I can do some propagations for you, so they'll be ready in six weeks. And that was actually why we went to the cactus shop in the first place. We normally go about once every eight weeks or so. Um, just to see what he's got and because his prices are amazing but anyway he had done three cuttings two for me and one for my mum and these are the little cuttings and they are fully rooted they are absolutely amazing I'm going to show you on the screen now what they actually look like when they're mature and oh my god when I tell you that they look like hair and brains they look like something out of Silence of the Lambs and I absolutely love it Again, I think my collection's kind of growing into this kind of weird kind of genre of plants. Um, although I love all of my tropicals, the plants I'm really enjoying buying and, you know, waiting for are those kind of odd plants that you don't see that much of. And things that look like other things, so like Shrek's fingers and also the kind of like gothic spider plant that I showed you at the beginning. But these are just absolutely amazing. Not sure whether you can see, it's really hard to show these off because at every single angle they look different. So that's one. And this is the other. And they send out like little runners um, that I think can produce new plants, but mainly it's just because it's a cross starter form. Um, but anyway, I think he charged us four pounds each for these cuttings, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, I don't know what it's like where you are, but here in the UK, I haven't ever seen these for sale. Um, and yeah, I love them. <laughs> They're in. A kind of like regular cactus mix. I don't know whether you can see this at all. But yeah, I've watered these three times since having them. And they like quite a high humidity um, environment. So I've been keeping them in our high humidity environment. Next plant I'm going to show you is something that I'd never seen before. And I have to blame Aaron for this. Because he sent me one sort of bromeliad. And... I'm absolutely terrified of them still. I don't understand how they work. I don't understand how they water themselves. But this is, and I can't even fit it all in screen, so you'll have to excuse me not being in this shot. But this is a Bilbergia. Oh my god, I can't even say this. No. It's a variegated bromeliad, and it is absolutely stunning. Oh, I don't even know whether you can see, but some of this is just 
really really quite stunning and again I've kept this in kind of a low light actually and it seems to have loved it um pulled back from a eastern window I think <laughs> and yeah I've been watering I've watered this three times since having it um all in the cups which again don't understand how it works but yeah absolutely love this plant and because it's got so many in here it's got like 17 plants in this bit actually really desperately needs repotting because it's you know you can't even squeeze it it's so solid um but i'm hoping to kind of give quite a few of these away and yeah i just i love it and i really didn't think that i was a bromeliad person oh also i paid um 12 pounds for that as well so yeah that'll give you an idea this is the last plant and i'll show you a picture of when i got it because it is quadrupled in size maybe um, I'm a sucker for Oxalis and this is an Oxalis Herreriae but it is so succulent, oh you can't see it, but it is so succulent and so just mad, I absolutely love it. Um, I've watered this quite a few times actually, I water it just when it dries out, it tells you because it does sh start to shed a lot of its leaves um, and yeah it's just absolutely wicked, it's really kind of like succulenty I don't know how else to describe it but it's just absolutely amazing and absolutely mental if you if I put it up here you kind of see just how large it is and how spread out it is but absolutely love it and yeah this is now my new favorite plant of all time I think and I paid three pounds for this which is mental so yeah definitely get yourselves one of these if you can find one super easy care and if you're looking for some oxalis care videos I've got one um, on my channel, which I'll put again in the on the top of the screen or in the description below. Sorry, my camera battery ran out. But basically, that is all of my haul. I think in total, with a couple of other plants, I probably spent about £45. Yeah, absolutely go if you have the chance, because he is absolutely amazing. And his shop is incredible. It's in the middle of nowhere, but it is so, so worth it. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, obviously I'll do hauls as and when I get plants, but I'm trying to slow down the growth of my collection, um, especially whilst we've got so much other stuff to pay for and nowhere to store it really. And let me know which one was your favorite and please, please let me know if you've got any care tips down in the comments below. I'd be really, really grateful and let me know what plants you've bought recently. But anyway, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video if you like this content. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Alright, I will see you next time. Bye.